The air handling unit is a very important element of the ventilation system. It ensures air exchange in the room. Its task is to draw in air from the outside of the building and, after being filtered, provide fresh air inside. At the same time, the air handling unit draws in used air from the inside and blows it outside. Thanks to the heat exchanger, the exhaust air heats the air which is drawn into the room. Great idea, isn't it? How is it implemented in practice? We will trace it by visiting the ECS Peter Parazuski company, o3ozon.pl. In addition to recuperators, the company also manufactures other devices, thanks to which it is possible to ensure good air quality in the house, as well as to raise or lower the temperature inside buildings. We are a small family business. We have been manufacturing for 15 years. We manufacture such devices as, ozone generators, air handling units. We are now starting the production of air convectors, heat pumps, and we also produce various components for medicine. After purchasing the devices, we can watch a video on YouTube, where the owner of the company explains how to launch recuperation at home at a reasonable price. If you are interested, please visit Peter Parazuski's channel. In the meantime, we will take a look at how the ventilation units are manufactured in his production plant. First, the design of the device is created. The device consists of a heat exchanger that heats the supplied air, supply and exhaust fans, a controller, a humidity sensor and four temperature sensors. Production begins in the electronics department, where the main control board is created. The control board is the brain of the entire device and it directs all device processes. After the schematic diagram and the design of the control board have been developed, a prototype is prepared. It is then tested in a climatic chamber where it stays for about a month and is subjected to cycles of variable temperature, from plus 80 to minus 40 degrees Celsius. In this way, it is possible to simulate about 30 years of recuperator operation and check how it will behave in various weather conditions. After testing and approval by an independent laboratory, serial production can begin. In the first stage, a solder paste is applied to the control board by screen printing. Then, in the place where the paste was applied, the robot precisely arranges individual elements, processors, relays, capacitors. Now the control board goes to the reflow oven where the paste is hardened. Once this is done, the quality of the connection between the soldered elements and the board is checked under a microscope. The threading method is used to automatically place elements such as sockets to which the mains power is connected, as well as fan control. Finally, the software is loaded, and after connecting the main control board to the touch panel, functional tests are performed. Such advanced electronics require a solid housing made of galvanized sheets. Inside it, there will be components that make up the device. They are prepared in the production plant meanwhile. With the help of a laser cutter, the housing elements are prepared, and the elements of the structure are created on the turret punching machine. Then, using a bending machine, the cut details are shaped into appropriate shapes. Time to assemble the air handling unit. First, a skeleton is created, and then the following are fixed. A fan, temperature sensors, humidity sensors, the so-called bypass, which ensures cool air in summer, and an ionizer. Now the whole thing is insulated with mineral wool and the casing is screwed on. Finally, the heat exchanger and filters are installed, and finally the controller is connected with the touch panel. At the next workplace, we can see how an air convector is being prepared. It is a device that maintains a constant temperature in the room. And if you want more, you can take a look at the ozone generators and ionizers produced at ECS Peter Parazuski. Thanks to them, you can inhale the air in rooms and vehicles without pollutants and pathogens.